Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and today we're going to do a little white fox action. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to show you the heroic quest, just the the battles that she has in heroic quest first, and she's only tier one then. Same build, but she's only tier one, level 15 gears. As you can see, she's tier two now. And then after we do the heroic quest, we're going to go into Stage 40 against Corvus Clave, World Boss Ultimate, and we're going to see how she does. So this is the team we're going to be running with against Corvus. We're going to use Coulson for his Tier 2 passive, which increases damage dealt to supervillains by 45%, increases guaranteed critical rate by 20%. Sweet! We're going to use Bullseye for his Ignore Dodge Leadership, and then we're going to use good old White Fox. White Fox is a pretty interesting character, you guys. I'm, I'm, I am really digging her. But let's go through the build first. She has 14,700 physical attack. She has 123 attack speed, 27 crit rate, 187, 187 crit damage, max ignore defense, and max skill cooldown. So there's a lot of improvement that I can still make on her. And if you guys notice, down in the lower left-hand corner, you'll see Leadership. It says increases damage to super villain. Well, that's not that don't matter, but she says leadership, which means uh, 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 that her tier two passive applies to herself. She's so she's getting an extra 60% damage dealt to super villains, which is pretty sweet. She has all level 20 gears, no urus. She has a stage five overdrive set. And she has a critical damage with 180% proc, immunity to stun, which is kind of cool, it's nice. Decent proc, no uni. So let's take a look at preview her skills a little bit here. Alright you guys, so the 4 gives her a 5 second in immunity, which is pretty sweet. And you'll get the heal, bam, right there. So, the general rotation, and I, you're, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna probably do a different rotation against Corvus just for, just for craps and giggles. But if you're trying to optimize her, like fully optimize her damage, what you want to try to do is you want to hit the four. And then as soon as she blows up like that, then you want to go into the five. Or you could hit the three summon the white foxes and then go into the five either way you're getting some extra damage from the other skills or you could just hit the five or the four starting out it really doesn't matter to be honest she's got honestly guys she's pretty easy to play she's very versatile with her skill rotation i mean she's she's pretty easy guys she really is so i just kind of like i honestly i would just go four and then Three, one, two, five. Where I would go five, one, three, four. And when you use the five, you got to make sure it plays completely out. Ding, 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 all the way at the end so you get that charm. Bam. You get that charm. And this works on World Boss Ultimates. So when you get that charm, you can do your one skill here. All you got to worry about is the elements around you. And you can use the three also, and you'll be just fine. As long as she's immune and, or has that charm up, she's going to be just fine. And the two is a sweet partial iframe. So I always want to try to use the two last. So it's either going to be uh, five, one, or five, three, one, two, four, or four, three, one, two, five. Either way, guys, it'll be just fine. So let's get out of here. So I, I guess I should have done this to begin with, but on her one skill, nothing big, some physical damage. Her one, this is a good Shadowland skill. It puts the enemies into rocks for three seconds, which is pretty nice. And it's that partial iframe I showed you guys. And on the three, it deals bleed damage, which again is always useless in this game. Her passive. Applies enemies and capacitation, removes active buffs from targets, and deals 50% bleed damage, which again is useless. 
Her four has a recovery, which is awesome. It also has an attack buff for 15% and an, an all speed buff by 15% and a critical rate buff by 10%. And of course, gives that five second immunity for all damage. Because she gets this all speed buff, you guys, for uh, 10 seconds, Overdrive would probably be the optimal isolate set for her. You really don't need Power of Angry Hulk, but this is one of those characters, guys. Only metas would I worry about the optimal op uh, isolate set. You just you can run through some gold. I've ran through 50 million gold before trying to get the right isolate set. So on these lower tier characters, although they're good. To me, they're just not worth that kind of investment, but maybe, but if you love the character, go for it. Optimize them to the best you can. And here's the five, which gives the charm. Okay, you guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the heroic quest. I'm gonna show you all four of those videos, and then we're gonna take her into World Boss Ultimate, stage 40, Corvus, and see how she does. Let's rock and roll. So this is the first one, facing old Modoc here. Remember guys, this is on level 15 gears and she was tier 1 at the time. Yeah, she's pretty much mutilating old boy. That's a pretty cool looking stage though, I have to admit. I I do like the fact that Nat Marvel is very creative with this. It looks pretty cool. But it's definitely not much of a challenge, but eh, who cares. <laughs> it's something different. You know, it gives us something fun to play. Cool. Next. All right, so now looks like we're going to be taking on Umbaco. Sweet, that's different. It's kind of weird that we're facing someone that isn't even in the game, but okay, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, like I said, this looks pretty cool though. I really like everything that's going on. It's 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 creative. Pretty sweet. I'm really just pushing buttons, you guys. I'm <laughs> not really I'm just pushing buttons. That's all I'm doing. Well, that's all I did anyways when when I recorded this. I'm pretty sure you guys figured out that these were all pre-recorded videos. <laughs> and I'm just now giving a little commentary on them. Sweet. Easy peasy. Next. Sweet. So now it's time to face old Wong. Going down, Wong. Chung, 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 chung. Oh, that's cool. I like how the view changed. That's pretty wild. Poor Wong. Don't stand a chance against the animal that White Fox is. Almost literally. She does got some cool looking animations, man. She's pretty fun to play. Ooh, 29 seconds. Next. Now for the final battle. Taking on Morgan. My girl. Sorry, Morgan, but I gotta do this to you. Major butt whooping going on. Dang! Victory! So let's see how she does against this pecker. Let's start with that four. No, well, not too bad, not too bad. And as you guys can see, she's easy to play. She's a piece of cake. Like, and it makes her a hell of a lot of fun, I can tell you that. <laughs> I mean, she just, it's just running through the rotations. Pretty sweet. If it wasn't for that, the fact that she has to be, a, the character that she supports has to have that leadership. She, I mean, honestly, I don't know. I think she's either the second or the best support character in the game. It's difficult for me to say. But she is pretty sweet. And she's got good movement speed. She runs around quick, which is always nice. I'm a big believer in running fast avoiding damage is always a good idea if you can avoid it yeah look at that got old boy charmed 
I really want Deadpool to come in there and do his all defense down skill, and then I'll hit that five. But it's pretty unpredictable when old Deadpool comes in there. You just don't know when he's going to do it. And I'm not pushing the purple guy, so not for this fight. We're just playing around having a little fun. She's getting it done, but so far she's getting it done a little slow. But I've missed the proc a lot. I've missed the proc quite a bit. There we go. Now the proc's on the five. Let's see if I can keep it there. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this. Right there. Look at that, guys. Deadpool coming, came in there and did his defense down. Then I did the five. Almost took a full bar. Pretty sweet. Okay, well, 255 left. We should be able to do this. I feel pretty confident old girl's going to get it done. All right, so bring your freaking flames. Yeah, yeah. Move over a little bit. Now run around his punk butt. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Kill! You see, guys, see that? I hit the four and then the five. Look at the damage that I pulled off. It's just... Man, whoa, whoa! I think my strikers are doing a bit of, a bit of that damage there. <laughs> I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't think old White Fox is gonna do two bars, but ah, I think my strikers uh, did quite a bit of that. Man, I got the crap popped out of me there. And over here, switch, kill. Here we go, four into the five. I hit that five too early. I should let that four play out a little bit. Oh well. Dang, man. Like I said, guys, when Deadpool comes in there, man, this is for any character with him. When he comes in there, it's just, man. Character's gonna do pretty good. She's doing pretty damn good right now, you guys. Seriously. Come on in there. Keep coming in there, Deadpool. Keep mind controlling Scarlet. Oh, I tell you what, guys. Strikers make the world of difference. Dang, that four did quite a bit of damage there. Woo! Not bad. Freaking tearing this guy up. Jesus, and I thought we were going to cut this close. Dang! Wow. 59 seconds to spare? Dang, that's better than I thought she would do. Freaking awesome. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. Got a booty!